Um, but the other times that people refinance naturally when rates drop, right? When we're we're at five right. and they drop to three, people are refinancing to save, you know, save interest and cash right. and their cash flow. Um, and another reason to refinance, um, right, is 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 frankly um, to get some cash out to to do a project on your home. Mm. Um, now, sometimes you may want to get an equity line. So right now, if people come to me and say, "Hey, Michael, I'm thinking about you know putting a pool or doing addition." I'm going to ask him a few other questions like, how soon do you think you can pay this off? Because I don't want to get rid of your $300,000 loan at 3% right. uh, to, to go significantly higher if it doesn't make sense. Now, again, you have to understand everybody's circumstance. If they're getting $50,000, maybe they can pay that off in three years. Right. Great. Let's do that as an equity line instead of adding, you know, adding and changing their interest rate to the whole loan. Oh, um, so, so, okay. So maybe the thought process, process here is then, all right, something for the audience to think about is, Okay, don't worry about re refinancing. Take a look and see if you you know what your equity is, yeah. and try to get an equity line on 